Uh, anyway, uh, what's next? What do we? What do we? What do? is next? Uh, oh, I, I meant to bring this so that I, I can just give it back to you and you can figure it out. Because the PlayStation Portal has been hacked. What? Hacksword. So this was just a tweet that every I haven't gotten a tweet sent to me this much since Mario Maker Two was announced. <laughs> uh, this is from Adam Wen uh, or the Flow Zero who says, after more than a month of hard work, PPSSPP, which is a PSP <laughs> emulator, it yeah. is not somebody calling a cat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, PPSSPP is running natively on PlayStation Portal. Yes, we hacked it. Help from XYZ and Zeta2, some other people who, who worked on it. I have the, um, the Verge article that uh, goes over this. Uh, two Google engineers have managed to get the PSPP emulator running natively on the PlayStation Portal, allowing a Grand Theft Auto PSP version to run on the portal without Wi-Fi streaming. Uh, Win uh, confirmed that the exploit is all software-based, so it doesn't require any hardware modification like additional chips or soldering. Only a photo of Grand Theft Auto Liberty City stories running on the portal has been released so far, but Win may release some videos to demonstrate the exploit uh, at the weekend. Uh Win is a cloud uh, vulnerability researcher at Google, and he has worked with a fellow Google security engineer, uh, Callie C uh, Svensson, on the PlayStation Portal project. Win, better known as The Flow, has discovered multiple PS4 and 5 exploits in the past. He's due to detail a new PS4 exploit in May. So, a PS4 exploit? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, they didn't really give any information about this at all. No. And it's making me think that we're not even going to ever see this in a way that's going to work for anybody. Uh, he, he's, he said, uh, there's no release planned in the near future and there's much more work to be done. Right. Also, there's no shot. This runs good. Uh, <laughs> it's PSP. So it's not that it's not going to require that much power. It's right. just PSP, but this is an incredibly low powered, uh, device yeah it's just for streaming uh and i have you know android devices that are made for game emulation that can't do psp good yeah. i have a lot of different ones that can't do psp good uh so i don't think this is you know gonna be crazy and i also don't think we're gonna end up uh, uh seeing it in, in the near future i don't think they're gonna crack this thing open and let us uh uh you know put our own stuff on there anytime well soon. i think this is the first step towards that yeah absolutely i think yeah. that this is you know it's one small step towards trying to do something with your playstation portal other than stream your playstation 5 signal to it yeah i mean this is good news overall the ideal situation for a playstation portal would be to do some sort of dual boot or something where i could still use it as a playstation portal but then also sideload some stuff onto it and have it natively so like yeah. let's say i'm on a um i have my playstation portal and i like streaming my games and stuff but oh no i'm going on a flight yeah now i have my portal but i can't connect it to the internet well now i can play like my super nintendo games yeah. or something like that um i mean the ideal situation for a playstation portal would be a playstation vita 2 yes <laughs> but it's such weird irony that we're sitting here in the year 2024 with all of the technology at our disposal yeah. and we're going nuts over a guy who hacked a brand new PlayStation device yeah. to play an old game <laughs> shittily. Yeah. Um, but, you know, that's... And people are like, yeah! <laughs> because yeah. the fucking thing sucks that bad that we're excited that it can play a 15-year-old game. I mean, also too, Sony, um, the way they handle backwards compatibility isn't great because they like hide it behind a massive paywall. If you want to play older games, you got to subscribe to the PlayStation Plus Premium, uh, no, Extra. And if you want to play the really old stuff, you got to subscribe to Premium. Yeah, but then you got to play it through your PlayStation 5 through your portal. Yeah. So finding a way to do that natively, the way it should have been done in the first yeah. place is nice uh i shrios in the chat says it's got a snapdragon chip in it so it might not be too bad no there's a there is a wide spectrum of snapdragon processors snapdragons yeah. it's just the type of product isn't it just a company i think it's the company no, qualcomm's, qualcomm's the, company. the company snapdragon is the, yeah. it's, it's like a pentium yeah. yeah well we're old these people <laughs> might not know what pentium is uh core i whatever gtx yeah uh Anyway, 
wide spectrum of Snapdragon devices, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it could absolutely be shitty. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not doing this obviously because there's no, there's no, uh, nothing's been released. Yet. Nothing's been yeah. released. There are other, I'm sure other people are working on mm -hmm. ways to crack this thing open. Uh, until then, you can continue to use my PlayStation Portal. Cool, great.